Hi. Let me tell you about another great Manning book. API Design Patterns, written by J.J. Gwax. APIs, or Application Programming Interfaces, are crucial in modern computing, serving as the protocols for how different computer systems communicate. This chapter explores the intricacies of APIs, particularly web APIs, and their role in the digital world. Web APIs are a specific type of API designed for network access by various users. They differ from library APIs in that they are centralized. Changes made by developers affect all users immediately. This centralization can lead to issues for users if the API is altered or discontinued, but it also allows developers to maintain control, protect intellectual property, and offload resource-intensive tasks. Software designed for humans can be problematic for automation because computers cannot easily interact with graphical interfaces. APIs solve this by providing stable, non-visual interfaces that computers can use without being affected by cosmetic changes. APIs also enable the creation of complex systems by allowing functionalities to be combined like Lego blocks. These systems can then be reused for future projects. To ensure seamless integration of APIs, a design strategy called resource orientation is used. Web APIs can operate based on remote procedure calls, RPC, which focus on executing specific tasks. However, this can become complex when dealing with stateful interactions. Resource-oriented APIs address this by standardizing actions around resources, making the API easier to use by applying a consistent set of methods to these resources. While not always superior, resource-oriented APIs often provide simplicity and ease of learning through familiar patterns. A good API is created with the intention of providing users with specific functionality they desire to access programmatically. For an API to be considered effective, it must meet several key criteria. Operational. It must deliver the promised functionality efficiently and accurately. For instance, a translation API should be able to translate text from one language to another quickly and with high accuracy. Expressive. The API should allow users to easily and clearly communicate what they want to do. This includes having a straightforward way to access functionalities, such as a simple RPC like Translate Text, which simply translates text from one language to another, and avoiding the need for workarounds to use hidden features. Simple. The API should be as straightforward as possible, focusing on exposing functionalities in a clear manner without unnecessary complexity. This involves designing methods that directly correspond to user needs and ensuring the common use cases are simple and intuitive while still supporting more advanced functionalities. Predictable. The API should follow consistent patterns in its design and behavior making it easier for users to learn and use without encountering surprises. This includes using consistent naming conventions and maintaining a coherent structure across different parts of the API. Now that you have a good grasp on APIs and what makes them good, the next step is to explore advanced design patterns to further improve API development. Get this book at manning.com.